We're very happy to support organisations like REF because um, there are a number of issues which are required to get this renewable energy market to really take off that are going to require different partnerships, different relationships from the ones that certainly we traditionally get involved in. And so we've talked a bit um, around the edges of this conference around the issues of transmission in the US. Now that's going to take the utilities, the energy companies, uh, the technologists and potentially the car makers to actually get together to have conversations with the regulators, with government to get transmission infrastructure in place. So one of the characteristics I think of, of this industry is the need to work across traditional boundaries and something like REF is a great way of doing that, getting people together, hearing different perspectives, different points of view and actually being able to create some of those relationships that can make a difference. The financial component of, of ACOR and its activity is clearly really important to all of this. I mean, this, this business, this opportunity won't happen unless it gets the right funding. And what I think is very interesting is the amount of private capital that is, that is flowing into this industry. But it's also, of course, evident that equity values do not um, increase linearly. You know, that this market will be one with ups and downs and the risk of course is that the capital flows in and then exits and so I think making sure that, that the financial community is really connected to what the set of opportunities look like, why it's important, what it'll take to make it successful, that should help stabilise uh, and also should help this sector continue to grow.